very honored to be here today with the renowned wildlife sculptor Shalom Bloom, who has made a very generous donation to the city of Cote St. Luke for the Shalom Bloom Sculpture Garden in Trudeau Park. Thank you so much for coming here today, Shalom. You're more than welcome. So tell me, how did you get into becoming an artist? Well, it happened I came back from Africa. My kids were playing in plasticine. And my little six-year-old daughter came over to me with a big blue eyes and said, Dad, can you make us an animal? You just came back from Africa. I said, by all means. I took the plasticine and in 15 minutes I made him a rhino. My wife came down from my bedroom, came down and my daughter shows her the kids were playing with a rhino. She said, look what Daddy made us. She was flabbergasted. She says, you have talent. You have to go and take lessons in sculpting. We walked into the course, pick up some of that mud, whatever it was in there, and do whatever you want with it. Picked up some clay. It P.S. In, in half an hour, I see some people behind me watching. I was doing, looked at what I was doing. Stanley Lewis came over and said, what are you doing here, Shalom? He says, out. He said, that's a beginner's class. I says, Stanley, I never touched anything, never played in art in my life. Forty years you've been uh, having your art all over the world. It's a mystery in nature that I, can exp I cannot explain. It's very, it's unexplainable, except I know that my grandfather, many, many years ago, that's what he did. He was a sculptor. So possibly it's hereditary, but I still don't understand. So tell me, where has your art been destroyed? My art, Israel, different parts of Europe, top companies in Canada and in the States, and a lot of private collectors. And what's your vision for the Shalom Bloom Sculpture Garden? I think it'll be a haven for the kids, for people to come in and, 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 and get close to nature. I mean, it's a place that they, they will feel relaxed at home, close to my animals, and there's nothing hostile about it. And it's in a beautiful surrounding, thanks to you, thanks to the city of Cote St. Luke, that they surrendered such a beautiful part of the park for my work, and I appreciate it. Well, well, thank you. On est certainement chanceux d'avoir cette part qui va être une part de destination. Et je suis certain que les personnes qui vont venir pour des visites à Montréal va certainement venir à Côte saint luc pour voir ces uh, sculptures magnifiques. How exciting is this to see the way the Shalom Bloom Sculpture Garden is evolving right here in Côte saint luc at Trudeau Park. We are so lucky to have a destination park with beautiful sculptures of wildlife by the renowned artist Shalom Bloom. Something that we in our community can enjoy for many years to come.